That looks promising, I think. Is it bright enough? Um, no. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Kenzie. Today, I'm joined with a very special guest. Hi, it's Janine Amapola. We have known each other for... Too we, long. Too long. It's been like... Five, six years. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Both Texas girls. So we just wanted to do a okay. little drive with me. We just filmed the forest. Forced. The fourth. <laughs> the fourth. Great, great, great. We just filmed the first portion on Janine's channel, so I'll have that link down below. Yep. It's a good time. What did we talk really about in that time. video? Um, boys, marriage, Texas, marriage, a lot, dating. Yeah. So we're just gonna like chat and talk. Anyways, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. <gasps> the battery's dying. We have the boys. I mean, we still have the the questions. I have so much content when it comes to boys, so I can never be. Dude. That's the thing. Boys is like an endless conversation. It is because there's always endless problems with them. Endless. Endless. endless God. Problems. No, like literally, like in endless. Guys, I'm gonna make a public announcement. I said this in Janine's video. My mom also said this to me before. I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a point in my life when I didn't want to get married ever. Mm -hmm. I remember it very fondly. <laughs> then, <laughs> there was a point in my life where I was like, I'll get married around like 30. And now I've gone down to like 25. Slowly lowering. Slowly lowering. And it's not going to get any lower. I, uh, no. I feel like 25 is a good age though. It's like the, the greatest age. I think for so long I had like a really bad view on marriage without realizing it. Though. Like I think I viewed it as like settling down. When like it but doesn't. But also like. I know this is sensitive, but like, is it also because maybe your parents got divorced? Yeah, I also, I've realized this too, as I've gotten older, and more so as I've been around families at Zoe, that I've seen like really like healthy marriages. It's just never because I didn't, my parents like split up when I was like in fifth grade. So I hadn't like seen that. Like mm -hmm. I didn't have like a model to look after that was yeah. like my own parents. So now I'm realizing that that is like, I don't think it's affected like my trust issues and like I don't f fear for divorce for myself necessarily. Yeah, because you can always break that. Whatever, yeah, that habit, exactly. That chain or whatever. For sure, but um, yeah, no. Now I definitely, I definitely see how it made me like not excited for marriage. But I think even more so, like I'm just like so independent that I like didn't want to have to like, like I didn't want to like break my independence. Even yeah. Though I didn't have to do that. But yeah, you don't, especially when like you find the right person. Like yeah. you want to be with that person. You want to spend your life with them. You want to do everything with them. And they're there just they're there to supplement your life. Like they're yeah, there to, to be better. there to better you to make you a better person. Like. So yeah, it should never be viewed as like, ew, I'm settling down. Yeah, I want to marry someone who's like really creative, really big leader, really cool, very spiritually strong. Has to be. Has to be. Just so funny, that was but, like, never extreme. what you would have said before. I know. Never. But, like extreme, like I'm talking like extremely spiritually mature. Oh, I totally um, agree. In, in all areas though. In all areas, Just yeah. mature at point like period. Just, yeah. We didn't have time. Maturity, I realized, little boys. Guys, I realized that it, just because someone's mature in one area, it doesn't mean they're mature in any other areas. I'm gonna tell you Very that now true. to save you some time. Some heartbreak. Some, some heart, yeah, wasting literally, time. some wasted yep. time. But yeah, now I'm like, okay, we'll see. But also, I could so see myself at 25 being like, ha ha ha, I live my, <laughs> like I watched this and I'm like, what was I thinking? Dude, yeah. it, that, do you think it's like one thing that like you've been learning a lot in life lately or that like God's been teaching you. Okay, this is, we kind of really talked about this, but I'm reading this book called Boundaries. Anyways, my team lead at church was like, you should read this. And then I started reading it and it's so good. And like, it talks about how a lot of the time, especially just like in a faith world or like whatever, if you're someone who like just wants to do good in the world, people view about like boundaries as something bad because they're like, no, like I want to do anything I can for this person or no, I want to mm -hmm. do this. Well, and they, they look at boundaries as bad, but like really what boundaries are is like keeping the good in and keeping the bad out. Right. It doesn't mean that you can't like, when it's like lay your life down for your like brother or whatever, like you can still do that. Just like with boundaries. And not like lose yourself in the process. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it talks about, it's crazy. It talks about like when you're younger and you've gone through like any sort of trauma. And I would honestly argue that this isn't, doesn't even have to be like considered trauma, just anything bad ever. How so often like as you get older, the the issues that people face is that their boundaries are flipped so they'll keep the bad in and the good out so like when mm. you see someone it's like oh you should date them they're really good but you're so afraid of that and you're so like your boundaries are reversed so you push them away wow so you push the good away and you keep the bad in and then since the bad's inside you you're feeding off the bad so it's just Dude, that's crazy, crazy. that's yeah. some straight up psychological stuff right there i know it's psychology crazy. 101 lesson from kenzie psychology 101 everyone I feel like for me lately, like God's been teaching me just like rest and like just being still and trusting him. Because a, me a lot of times I'm trying to take everything in my own hands and control the situation, do this and that. 
and it's just like sometimes like God just slaps me in the face and he's like no if you're not gonna rest I'm gonna freaking make you rest like I don't know if you saw because I was super sick like a week yeah. ago and God literally like made me rest to where I had to I couldn't work out couldn't like do anything and then finally like I felt restored and I was like my soul is restored my body so like really just being still and knowing that he is the Lord and he is God and he has everything in control is just what I've been learning a lot lately and I'm like oh it's so there's so much peace and comfort in that there really is yeah that was like a huge thing for me and like learning like there's this whole thing I could literally talk about this for like three hours but like rest is holy and like also if you want things to be blessed like holy like whatever obedience like blessing comes after obedience yeah. and, and that is like an obedience thing I also feel like as youtubers like we are our own bosses yeah and we just work 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 and we'd feel bad if we don't if we take off yeah that we feel like oh, oh we'll be there's lazy guilt. there's like extreme like guilt. if no one if i don't work then who's gonna do this for me nobody so i feel guilty when i take off and so that's why literally for the past two years straight every dang day just like going 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 until you finally like life just smacks you in the face and it's like you need to just rest and it's like a kind of a pride thing where almost you're like oh no 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 i can't take a day off i have to grind i have to work i'm my own boss but in the end like it's not healthy for you mentally at all i think the whole idea of like grinding and working yourself to death is so toxic dude yes and i also think that striving and like that's a whole other thing but like striving is not the move so yeah, no, that's really good. Yeah, I kind of make a whole video of like talking kind of about like what does it look like to take care of yourself mentally and like physically and spiritually. Cause like really if you have physically, spiritually, mentally, all those like in a line, then like you can be kind of like a perfect triangle that's like whole and wholesome and like- Be you, a whole person. Yeah, a whole person. Like you need to have those yeah. all in alignment. And I would love to do a video just kind of like discussing that what can you do, steps to take. Cause I think that's really important. Yeah, that's really good. Boys and how they suck. <laughs> We've already discussed this plenty yeah. of times. Janita, you know, like, we're talking about this earlier, and I'm like, I really, like, genuinely just wish that I knew who I was gonna marry so I could put all this to rest. Yeah, like, I just, I don't, like, the whole dating process. Yeah, we talked about that at lunch. Trash. Like, the dating process absolutely it sucks. sucks. Because you could be potentially wasting six months, a year with someone that you don't even marry, and then you break up, and then you're like, now I have to start this all over again. You know what I like really have just been like not struggling with, but like just thinking about is like, I cannot tell you the amount of couples that I like look up to and I really love, and they'll tell you the story of how they like started dating and whatever, and like the beginning was like rough, or like they did stuff that I was just like, wait, what? Like, yeah. Things that I wouldn't put up with now necessarily. Yes. So then I'm like, and then I'm taught to not put up with that. But then I'm like, but wait, but you did, and then you. Yeah, so like, it's like, yeah, it's like, so what if it does work? But I'm then like, when you're in the process, everyone's like, stay away from him. Don't yeah. even do break up. Don't be together. It's like, but like, what if we are meant to be? Yeah, and like, what if, like, you're, such a risk you, you always this? take. I don't like that. That's something else I'm learning right now. Okay, staying in the moment. This is something that I am so bad at, but I cannot like. I literally cannot stay in the moment to save my life. As like far not, as what? not like I can be present, that's different, but staying in the moment, okay. So like if I let's say I'm like talking to a boy, right? This is just there's so much more than talking to a boy. This is just the easiest way to explain it. <laughs> oh, I went there for lunch with my directors last week, it's really good. Anyways, um, let's say I'm talking to a boy and then I'm like, oh, I don't really like how he's treating me. Well, okay, that's like a good, good excuse. But like, I'm like, oh, I just don't really know where this is going. What is this gonna be like a year from now or whatever? So instead of just like staying in the moment and seeing what happens, I'm like, you know what? No, I'm gonna protect myself and I'm gonna dip out. Yeah, but you try to guard yourself. Yeah, and it's like, it's just like, Kenzie, literally you're crazy. Cause then I'm like, these are never gonna happen yep. the way that you think that they're gonna happen. Life is so unexpected. Yeah, so it if really you're not is. staying in the moment, you're removing yourself from something that could be like a miracle or could be like the best thing ever happened to you. But because I'm so like fearful of what could possibly go wrong, yeah. I pull myself out of it. It's bad. I think, but it's good to not lead by feelings, but it's also good to lead by like wisdom and counsel yeah. and just also like, does this situation bring me peace or does this bring me more confusion? And like, I think ultimately, cause like I always go back to that verse, like God is not the author of confusion. Like in a moment when you're evaluating this boy or whatever you're doing, like, does this bring me peace? And is there a blessing in this? Is there fruit coming from this situation and from this person? Yeah. Um, we, we kind of talked about that a little bit earlier, but I think that's really just like applicable and a good way to tell if it's really from God or not, or if it's beneficial or not. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you want to check any more questions on mine, Pastor? So all of mine are faith-based. Like, why can't people ask me other things? Dude, same. Mine are all like Texas and faith. 
Yeah, God bless Texas, everyone. Yeah, we love us in Texas, those though. Together. What made you start a YouTube channel? Like Megan Parkin. <laughs> yeah. No, Megan Parkin was like my. I loved her. She was my hero. Yeah, literally. Up. Like, I literally oh. worshipped Megan Parkin. Yeah. Hi, Megan, if you're watching this. Like, I love her. God. No, I. Yeah, now, when she comments on my Instagram post, like, still to this day, I'm like, wow. She's I'm really honestly cool. so sweet, though. Like, no, she's like the nicest person ever. She really, really is. And, like, I watched one of her recent videos about, like, the fakeness or, like, the, um, and basically she was talking about how like all these youtubers jumped on the trends train made all these fake oversaturated videos and then they all started becoming irrelevant and i was like hmm sounds familiar like can't relate even though i totally can and <laughs> so i watched me yeah I, watched, <laughs> like, I know you're talking to shane megan <laughs> <laughs> no okay. she was just talking as a whole about yeah, no, I know. all of that <laughs> and she's totally right that like she was freaking spot on in that video that like i haven't talked to megan in so long and i actually texted her being like girl i know we haven't talked in a while but I just want to let you know that that video freaking spoke to me. You were straight preaching. Do you remember like her videos with like her ex-boyfriend Justin? I like stuck <laughs> his name. Yes. I was obsessed oh my god, with I was them. hooked on that relation. I was like, oh, are they together? Oh, are they not together? Yeah. Like, no, freaking, like, literally obsessed with Waiting them. by my computer screen for her to post a video. And it's funny because like YouTube wasn't really big then, like mm -mm. not like what it was now. And people like in my like everyone knew who Megan Parker was. Yeah. Have you taken the Enneagram test? Do you remember Did when you we tell were with me to Alicia? Take that. No, we were with Alicia and Nikki, and they were like, take it. And it's the numbers. I don't think I ever took it. Okay, you have to take it. I took it yesterday. Okay, what so I'm number? three, the achiever. I'm the exact same personality type as Alicia and Taylor. And then my wow. wing is two, which is the supporter. But it's crazy. If you guys have taken them, let us know like what you are down below. I need to do it. No, I did like um, a bunch of compatibilities. Like I did my compatibility. <laughs> I did mine with Taylor's, mine with Joseph's. Mine with Joseph is spot on. Like to the point where it's like weird. Even last night, like can you read half of it? And I was like, wait, have you? I was like, do you think that I'm like this and this? And then he was just like, uh, yeah. And I was like, that's what our compatibility said. I knew it. Like it's crazy. I need to do that. No, it's like actually insane. I'm it, I still want to do that now. It's crazy. And apparently there's like a podcast that you can like listen to all of them. Yeah, it's unreal. So I'm a three and my wing two. Is that I'm what I'm a 10 out of 10. I'm a 10. That's what Joseph <laughs> He's like, I'm a 10. I'm like, shut up. Is there anything that you like regret in life? Like you look back now and you're like, ouch. The like, only thing I'm that so I salty. would really regret is if I've like poorly handled a situation and I feel like I used to react really emotionally like quickly. So, and just in any situation where I like reacted emotionally. But now you're so unfazed. No, I'm like so unfazed. So unfazed. Like it takes a lot to get me like really like riled up about something. Like I think it's cool. But I, like I had to work. I'm not naturally like that. Like naturally, yeah. I'm like oh, I'm gonna like fight you. <laughs> but like now, I'm just like uh, okay. Yeah. Like I don't. I couldn't really tell you the last time that I was like mad or would even. I like, can. I I just don't <laughs> like. I just don't. Well, no, I definitely like. I still feel the emotions. I just don't react to them. Yeah. Like my somewhat like this person that I love. No, no, your feelings are real, but they're not always true. So just because you're ah. feeling some way, you do feel that, but that does not mean they're true. Yeah. So like, I found just so often too, like if I just sleep on something and I wake up the next morning, I don't even care. So then I'm like, mm, you know? Pretty cool quality that you have though, but that, yeah, that definitely takes a lot of like, no, it, it discipline like, to yeah. get up to that. It was a lot of that. Wait, Alexa needs to make her, she needs to make her own car. Alexa! Like, Alexa, take Alexa. you to the freaking mall and she just drives you there and you don't do anything. Wow. Now we're really talking. Now, yeah, that's the future right there. That is the future. I think but having yeah. a little partner like alongside with you would just be kind of nice, you know. I think that in order to like enter into a relationship though, like you have to be like very secure. Yeah, and okay with yourself. yourself. Being okay with yourself. And yeah. Being alone. Being alone and yourself and your calling, like you have to be extremely secure. Yeah, because they don't want a codependent relationship. Yeah, like that, that. That is like what I think like scares me. But yeah, I've been in one of those before. That was not fun. Like, been there, done that. Like, that, I don't know. I feel like something that actually, like, really does scare me is that I don't want to, like, date someone and then, like, think that I'm going to marry them and then, like, not marry them and then have to, like, start over. So, like... Girl, yes! <laughs> so, like, I just... Seriously. I just, like, need someone to just tell me who I'm going to, like, marry. What's, like, your ultimate, like, like, what are, like, some deal breakers for you and a guy? 
Like, I know mine. I, I have mine now. They recently changed. Okay? <laughs> they recently they switched up. They're just gonna up. change I again in the next three months, so. I switched them up, all right? Choose wisely. <laughs> yeah, no, literally. No, someone who knows what they want, that doesn't mean that they have to be like, crazy successful right now, but knows what they want in regards of like a relationship. So they're not just like stringing me along. Who knows what they want like for themselves, for their lives, whatever. It doesn't mean that they have to be like making all this money or like doing whatever. It just means right. that they like have ambitions. Like they have ambitions. They have ambitions. And, and they, they're driven and they actually yeah. like they're out there at least trying. Exactly. It's so important. So important. Someone who's secure. Uh huh. So secure in themselves and their calling. Um, and also, it is so hard when you do something like we do with guys who are insecure because it's like they get they're super weird about it they're super like oh yeah they like, cannot handle this some no, guys just can't some guys just can't i've had so many guys tell me that yeah they like, like i just don't know about this whole youtube thing i'm like all right then bye the door's then right bye. there yeah literally it's just like it's really frustrating and it is. if you can't if you're not secure then like you can't be happy for me or like whatever like i want to only like build up the person that i'm with mm -hmm. and like if they're doing better than me that's awesome like, i honestly yes. would rather them do better than me, me too. because i don't want us to be like capped out like we should yeah, both no. be, everyone you know? should be both striving like, to be I only doing want more them, and better yeah i want the best for them even if that's better than i'm doing like i don't know i just don't understand that and yeah. then someone who is very like humble so someone who so important. is like really has humility has humility is quick to like own up to something is quick to make something right quick to like not hold on to offense stuff like that so but those are okay those are your makers but what, what about like deal breakers <sighs> i've never really thought about that Wait, do i go straight um i don't what's your deal breaker i don't know if i have one oh. i don't know what i would say for me like i just cannot stand a super cocky guy like if he's always checking himself out if he posts shirtless selfies, if he knows he looks good, and he's always just in himself, himself only wants to talk about himself, doesn't, like, I went on this one date, oh yeah. my gosh, I went on this date, like, last year, and this guy was the one who was like, hey, let's go get coffee, and I was like, okay, cool, only talked about himself the whole time. I would be in the middle of a sentence, he would cut me off and talk about himself, I was like, like, I was so taken back, Ew. I was like, so we're here to talk about you, we're not even here to talk about, like, me and you or anything of like he was not interested in what i had to say it was only about what he wanted i thought that was That's, so you're right. unattractable unattractable unattractive unattractable, unattractable. over it over <laughs> it we're, we're over yeah i think mine would be someone who's selfish too that because too. even now like i'll notice things in someone and i'm like hey, hey, we're back the battery died we're back we're back we're back okay insecurity i, I think well, my though. deal breaker though is insecurity and then selfishness because also like and pride if if you're more confident than the guy, then he's always gonna be insecure that like you're gonna go out, and, like maybe you're just like out with your friends, and then like a guy approaches you and they're like, yeah. well, "Did you talk to him?" Like they're gonna be super insecure that you would like leave them for someone like better because they're not confident in who yeah. they are, even though like you would never do that, but that's like out of their own insecurity, you know? Yes, someone's like projecting on you. Mm -hmm. I think too, somebody's like just secure and like where you stand with them. Yeah. And just like their oh, they are intentional. <gasps> That's like the word for like every Christian. Intentional. intentional. Don't even get me started Dude. on intentionality. But it really wow. is. Her, I would like loop at some point because you're about to go over the canyon. Um, okay, wait. Oh, I'm I just going to end this because the camera, the camera's dying. Love you guys so much. We have another video on Janine's channel. Check it out. Uh, check it out. We talk there more. Subscribe. Instagram's yes. linked down below. Mm -hmm. All that jazz. Love you guys so much. Bye. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Where the hell are my friends? Home alone, not again.